Thank you. A rare admission from Donald Trump, so have, expressing regret so about not serving in the military. It's something I've always missed. And, you know, I built and helped build the Vietnam Memorial in downtown Manhattan. Uh, to me, that was a very important thing to do. But I've... Uh, I've regretted not serving in many ways. Trump has been under fire for days after criticizing the family of a fallen soldier who challenged Trump at the Democratic National Convention. You have sacrificed nothing and no one. I think I've made a lot of sacrifices. Uh, I work very, very hard. I've created thousands and thousands of jobs, tens of thousands of jobs. Trump's reaction spurring more anger and scrutiny of his own military record. I was fortunate to uh, really not have to go. This was during the Vietnam period, and we were in a very, very uh, highly contested and unpopular war. June 1964, Trump registered for the draft after he graduated from the New York Military Academy. He received four education deferments while he was at Fordham and Wharton. Then, September 1968, Trump, starting his real estate career, got a medical deferment because of a bone spur in his foot. I had deferments because of uh, college, like a lot of people did. Uh, deferments because of, uh, because of college, and uh, I had a foot thing, and I, got, I had deferment for that. Despite the fact Trump had been active in various sports, including basketball and baseball. The battles have no fixed fronts. Trump often explains it was his high draft number, 356, which spared him from going to Vietnam. That was an amazing period of time in my life. I was sitting at college watching. I was going to the Wharton School of Finance, and I was watching as they did the draft numbers, and I got a very, very high number, and those numbers never got up to. But as it turns out, the draft lottery was never a factor when Trump was in college. According to Selective Service records obtained by CNN, Trump had been out of school for 18 months before the lottery even began. The Republican candidate prides himself on being a champion for veterans. And we're going to take care of the vets, believe me. We're going to take care of their medical. We're going to take care of the vets. Today, a veteran gave Trump his Purple Heart. I always wanted to get the Purple Heart. This was much easier. Well, that comment is spurring even more anger tonight from some veterans groups who see it as highly insensitive as making light of an award that is given to those injured in service to their country. One veteran leader noting people who receive this award have lost an eye or an arm or worse, saying, quote, no one wants a Purple Heart. Erin? Mm. Poignant there. All right. Thank you very much, Suzanne. And next, the breaking news, another case of Zika in Florida. And this one, not in that zone. Florida's Governor Rick Scott is